As someone from the UK, going on holiday in the heat abroad is beautiful. However, summer here is awful because we have no air conditioning. However, a good summer fragrance can brighten up our days, but they usually don't last that long. But today's list is going to let you guys know which ones do perform well to give you guys a better idea of what to buy. Let's get into it. We're going to go through 14 different fragrances today. Some of them are samples because I'm poor and some of the samples I previously had have now ran out. Basically, I am poor. Now, <laughs> I'm going to go through the list um, from the, lo the shortest lasting, so at least eight hours. We're not going anything less than eight hours in this video. And then the performance is going to get progressively better as we carry on. Let's start. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. Let's get this out of the way. It's a very salty, oceanic musk that is a great beginner marine scent. If you are getting into fragrances, this is a very safe thing to go for if it doesn't, if it doesn't smell weird on your skin. Some people get a rotten egg smell, so try before you buy, but most of the time, uh, getting into this hobby, you're gonna love this, and it'll get you a lot of compliments. Dior Homme Sport 2021. This, to me, smells like a young man's Terre d'Hermes, which is also on this list. This smells like a very masculine, earthy, sweet orange fragrance. Uh, even though orange isn't listed in the notes here, it is interesting because it's not every day you get a sweet summertime fragrance. Light Blue Intense is very sharp and fresh, for example. This is a very good recent release. It smells very modern, woody, plenty of ice, so it's super, so it's going to be very mass appealing. I get eight hours with this, and it's a very safe daily fragrance. It's inoffensive. You can wear this pretty much anywhere during the daytime. Paco Rabanne's Invictus Legend. This is the bubblegum Invictus DNA mixed with salty notes as well as amber, making this overall a sweet summertime fragrance, which is very useful. I find this is a fantastic fragrance to wear on dates or out clubbing. It gets about eight hours with a moderate amount of projection. It is a, a very much a head turner sort of DNA. And, and I think it's one of the better flankers out there. The opening, I'm not a big fan of, but overall, I really like this fragrance. Maison Francis Kurjans Gentle Fluidity Silver. So Baccarat Rouge is a sweet gourmand mixed with a lot of Ambroxan to bring it into a more modern timeline. This is a fresh woody fragrance with a lot of Ambroxan again to make it more modern. This is very musky, simple, bright, clean. It's also very sparkly, sort of like a gin and tonic in the opening and becomes more woody with that warmth of the ambroxan coming in. I would say overall a linear fragrance. I get about eight to 10 hours with this. I think this is more of a mature man's fragrance. Anyone over the age of 30 will enjoy this. I think it's perfect for the office or for anyone who just wants an elegant signature. Jeremy Fragrances, Fragrance One, Office for Men. Sticking to the theme of Ambroxan, I feel that Office for Men is a little bit misleading in its name because I think it's not just an office fragrance. This is, can be a good, any anytime daytime casual fragrance especially in the warm weather for any age group i don't think you have to be an office worker to rock this i think even teenagers could rock this well uh, it is a, what i would call ambroxan to the extreme this, this fragrance there is tom ford lavender extreme i think this could be called ambroxan extreme honestly it's mainly ambroxan with supporting notes of lemon and vetiver. Well, not a not a harsh, smoky vetiver, but I would say quite a smooth, easy, palatable vetiver, not a challenging one at all. I think Jeremy created a very mass appealing fragrance. I think the main thing he was going for was performance, and this is beast mode. 12 hours with a loud projection, compliment getter, uh, which, you know, if you, that's all you're going for, then this is great. I think it's a, a, little bit, a little bit synthetic for the price tag and a little bit overly simplistic. However, I know Fragrance One, for some reason, are going uh, to be out of business and they're sending the remaining stock at a discount. So if you can get a good deal on this, make sure you do. This is a good fragrance. Rosasi Hawas. Another classic on this channel. Think Paco Rabanne's Invictus Bubblegum DNA. Put on steroids with a Middle Eastern twist with both plum and incense. Overall, a very strong synthetic fragrance. That's a head turner. Big compliments. I would say Good for casual daytime use. I wouldn't wear this in the office personally, but it's also very good to use in the clubbing environment because of how strong it is. Check it out if you haven't already. Modern formulations are still apparently very good performance. I get 12 hours with this. Parfum de Mari's Percival. I think Parfum de Mari is better for their oriental fragrances, but this is a very good offering in their fresh 
range. It is Mont Blanc Legend or Abercrombie & Fitch's Fierce, made niche, it's higher quality in its scent profile, it's very long lasting. Again, an Ambroxan based <laughs> apple, citrus and lavender fragrance, very clean but bright and youthful in its scent profile, sort of like you're fresh out the shower. Uh, I think it's a very, very good versatile fragrance. It's got perfect versatility in the daytime. Um, so I think it is a very good offering from the brand and you should check it out. I get 12 hours with its longevity. Moschino's Toy Boy, another classic on this channel. I love this fragrance. You might think for a men's release, it's weird to smell both pear and rose. And it's even stranger to have that combination in the summertime. But I think this really does work for a man who wants to smell unique and get a lot of compliments. This is really a standout kind of fragrance. You're not gonna smell like anyone else if you wear this. Even though it's a big mainstream designer brand, I've never smelled this on anyone else personally. I get 12 hours with this and because of its muskiness, its freshness, its hints of spice in this DNA, it really does work in the summertime. And I actually think Although it works well in most seasons, I think summertime is actually its strongest, which is strange when you smell it. It's really, really is strange, but it's beautiful. <laughs> Check it out, guys, if you haven't already. I've got my little sample here of Nishani's Hashivat, the fragrance that I recommend over Creed's Aventus. I've spent full price on a 2022 bottle of Creed Aventus. I cannot recommend it any longer. Nishani Hashivat makes the the inspiration from Aventus. I want to say it's a clone. It's definitely not a clone. It's an inspiration from that but they really amped up the pineapple and made it a little bit more mature with oak moss. And I think oak moss is one of the best ingredients in perfumery personally. That's why a lot of all fragrances aren't as good as they used to be because a lot of the oak moss materials they use became banned, but oak moss is definitely one of the nicest ingredients in perfumery. I think it really elevates Hashivat and makes it smell super high quality, super long lasting, fresh, smooth perfumery. I get over 12 hours with uh, with Hashivat. Zerjoff's 40 Knots. Surprisingly, you can find this fragrance at a good price on some discounters in the moment, such as All Beauty. I think it's going a little bit under the radar. I think this is a masterpiece fragrance. I'd easily give this a 10 out of 10. It is, again, strange having a sweet DNA in the summertime. It's an ambery, salty, woody fragrance. Ambery in the sense that it will remind you of Dior's Ombre Nuit. It's a little bit redundant owning both fragrances. I own both, <laughs> however, I would easily choose this over Ombre Nuit any day. This doesn't have the rose in Ombre Nuit. This balances sweet, high quality amber notes with those the fresh, salty marine notes that it has. It is beautifully done. When you smell it, again, you'll think it shouldn't work in the summertime, but I wore it in Greece in, in the Mediterranean climate and it worked beautifully. Got me many compliments as well. Not only do I think this works in summertime, I can imagine this wearing, being worn in all seasons as well, making it very good value for money. I think it's easily worth this price tag for the price it's going now. I would say grab it if this is the kind of scent profile that intrigues you easily a signature versatile phrase you can wear both in the daytime and night that I think many people will love. Try it first if you can though. I get just over 12 hours with this fragrance and a moderate projection. Roja Burlington 1819. I finished my sample, also took it with me to Greece. I wish I could afford it. I think I will get a full bottle at some point, um, but it is just a very, very nice, what I would say a king's fragrance. If you want a truly more mature, complex, a little bit challenging, but royal royalty sort of fragrance for the summertime. This is beautiful, uh, Burlington 1819. I saw it on a friend first and I insisted that he give me a sample. <laughs> he gave me a decant very kindly. Um, he, and it, it just smells beautiful. It's, it's the best spicy orange fragrance I've smelt personally. And it's got a lot of complexities to it. It is very challenging. If you look at the note breakdown for Agrantica, I think it'll be a little bit mind boggling. Uh, I cannot say I can smell and recognize every single note, but it is overall a spicy orange mature scent with some complexities and a nice little hint of rum in there, like a small boozy note. That's not, it's not the main character at all, but it adds a, a uniqueness to this fragrance that truly smells niche. You are getting what you pay for here. I think it is worth its price tag, its hefty price tag. I get over 12 hours with this fragrance, 12 to 14 hours. Strong projector, very strong fragrance, even with just two sprays. Terre d'Hermes Eau de Toilette. Yes, Eau Givre and Eau Intense Vetiver may be specialized for the summertime, but the Eau de Toilette is your best value for money. It's the most versatile. This is the masterpiece perfumery. 
by John Claude Eleanor. That still stands the test of time from 2006. Very rugged, manly, dirty, earthy orange in the opening that dries down to a smooth, clean woods and vetiver. Very beautiful vetiver fragrance for a more mature gentleman, maybe 25 years old and plus. I get 14 hours with this. This is packed full of Isui Super, giving it longevity, mass appeal, but still just not generic like other Isui Super fragrances. This still it just stands on its own. It's distinct. If you want a really good signature fragrance, Terra Hermes is another 10 out of 10. And finally, this is not my favorite summertime fragrance, but I would say this is my longest lasting Mancera's Oud Lemon Mint. This is a synthetic and strong fragrance. It has that lemon mint, as you'd expect, sort of smelling like a very fresh, bright, sharp, hard boiled lemon candy, if you ever had that growing up. It's it got an interesting opening. I think it's a challenging opening. Not my favorite opening, but I think the dry down is much better. It becomes very woody, very clean and masculine. The oud here is not real oud, but this is some sort of woody accord that men necessarily like to use in a lot of their fragrances. Very pleasant, very long lasting. I get over 14 hours with oud lemon mint with a moderate projection. And it surprisingly got me some compliments. I didn't think it would, but some people have complimented this. So I think if you're bored from the usual suggestions from Mancera of Cedra Boise or Red Tobacco or Instant Crush, don't sleep, sleep on Oud lemon, lemon Mint. I think it is one of their stronger offerings. And that concludes the video, guys. What other fragrances in the summer category do you think people should know about that have really good performance? Let us know down below, guys. Make sure to check out our previous top 20 summer fragrances video. We've still got a month of the season left, guys, so let's enjoy. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye.